Hello and welcome to this month's Beginner Guitar Academy Academy show. So every month I do an Academy show where I go over what was introduced in the Academy last month, all the updates, all the news, all that kind of good stuff. Just in case you haven't a chance to log in, you know, life's got in the way, you've missed the member emails, give you a good um, overview of what happened in the previous month. So in this episode, we're talking about what happened in June 2022. <laughs> Feels like we ended one from May, the, like yesterday. This month's just flown by. But we did some cool stuff in the Academy. So we'll go through that right now. So the first thing to go through is member news. So I have a few member shout outs. So the first thing is progress checks. So well done, Chris, Lani, and Jared, who all completed their progress checks this month. So all different levels as well, because Chris was level one, just joined the academy. Lani's been with us a little while, so she's level two. And Jared finished his first level three progress check. So if you just started with being a beginning guitar, you don't know what progress check is. As you progress through the different levels, uh, going through the different classes, you then reach progress checks. Gives you the opportunity to send me a video. I can then give you feedback on how you're progressing through the level. So we can make sure we're not developing any bad habits, make sure we're getting the good solid technique. So as we get to the end of the level, we are really strong, not obviously developing bad habits that then we need to iron out once we get to the end. Because once we reach the end of the level, then we have a level assessment where you send through a longer video demonstrating all the skills and songs you've learned for that level. And if obviously we are the correct standard, we then tick off level, uh, whatever level you're on, say on level one, I then open up manually the website for level two. So then you have access to level two areas of the website. When you're doing level one, all those areas are shut down. Just make sure you don't get confused. You don't, you know, try and do things which are obviously too hard or too, compli too complex, too complicated. So we're just focusing on sort of level we are. So that's the idea behind the progress checks. And well done, Chris, Lani, and Jared for completing your progress check this month. Now, we also had some level assessments and that was Mike finished level two and Martin, who just finished at level one as well. Martin's not been asked very long, so well on Martin for doing that. And well on Mike for finishing level two, now on to obviously level three, halfway through the G4 method. So well on guys for completing your progress checks and your level assessments. Next, we have member of the month. So every month I do member of the month. And I don't know if I actually tell you how I pick member of the month, but how I pick member of the month is a member that's been most active in the community. So basically the forums, asking questions, answering questions, basically just interacting. Um, and this month's member of the month is Walt. So well done, Walt, uh, for becoming member of the month. And Walt's been very active in the community, again, answering questions, asking questions, that kind of stuff. And it's just great to obviously get to know everyone in the community. So if you haven't really come into the community much, jump over to there, ask some questions. Every week I um, ask a particular question to the community that you guys can then, obviously we can have a discussion about. So that's a great way of getting in, in, involved in the community. You could obviously ask your own questions as well. Also remember there is the practice log section. So you can go on there, keep a practice log, help you stay accountable to obviously what you're practicing and help me obviously see what you're doing and to obviously help out where I can. So well done, Walt. Um, let's move on. So Academy News is next. Now we're gonna go through what was released in the Academy in June. So let's dive straight in. And first on my list, I have a few quick tips. Now, if you haven't checked out the quick tips section, that is down here where it says quick tips. So you can get that just on obviously the main dashboard. This is the screen you see as soon as you log in. Then we're just gonna click on quick tips. And then we have these short little tutorials, just new ideas you can put straight into your guitar playing. And this month I did a few warm up kind of ideas. And the first one was a two finger warm up sequence. This is really cool. So I, we're targeting two fingers at a time and building through all four fingers. So really good to get used to moving different fingers that you're probably not used to moving. Really good for working on your finger impedance. So being able to move fingers individually for one another, that kind of stuff. The other one was this fourth finger workout. Now that was just basically using hand ones and pull offs to really work out that pinky finger. So that's really cool. If you find you've got a weak pinky finger, that'll be really good to start toughening up and get it rock and roll. And again, there's loads of quick tips here, guys. So go and check them out. Um, and there we go. They're the two that released this month. Now, moving on from there, I'm going to, well, you can get this to this a couple of ways. You can click on riffs up here, or if you're on the dashboard, you can click on the riffs icon there. And it's going to take us to the riff section. And the new riff this month was Can't Get No Satisfaction by the Rolling Stones. This is a really good one, and I put this on here 
to kind of give us something practical to put that little pinky workout into. Because we're going to pull off with our little finger for can't get no satisfaction. So it's a really good one, working on our stretching, working on our finger kind of uh, positioning and for toughening up that little finger. So can't get no satisfaction, really cool little riff, obviously classic, classic little riff. So go and check that out, especially if you want to build up your little finger strength. Then practice challenges. So if you haven't checked out the practice challenges, that you can find this in the community. So our forums, and if we scroll down, I've started a new section all about practice challenges. Click on that. And then every you know couple of weeks or so, I'm putting in a practice challenge in. As soon as I can sort of think one, really, I'm going to lob it in here. And little finger challenge was the one this month. It just basically puts together all the things I just talked about. We've got the two finger warm up sequence, the four finger workout, and then put it together in the riff at the end. So it kind of puts in some technical development stuff and then the practical thing at the end there with the riff. So you can check that out here, guys. Click on that, I'll take you straight to that part of the website. Um, and keep an eye on the, the practice challenges section because I'm gonna be throwing loads of cool little practice challenges in here again as we kind of move through. So that was the practice challenges. Next, we have the workshop of the month. You can get to this, again, back on the dashboard in workshops, click on that. And then we have our John Mayer wrist workshop. So the workshop, for June was learn to play five John Mayer riffs. Now this was as suggested by Walt and Ski. So well done guys, we kind of um, collaborated on this a little bit, didn't we? Of what riffs we were doing stuff in the, in the forum, in the community. And also a great reason to come in the community and discuss stuff, because I'll take ideas from you guys of what content you want. And obviously that might turn into workshops, might turn into riffs, might turn into songs. But that's how I get kind of the ideas really from you guys. So John Mayer's wrist workshop, let's have a look at this. So five riffs I did was Gravity, Slow Dancing in the Burning Room, Last Train Home, Why Georgia, and Stop This Train. So I tried to get a little bit of um, a little bit of everything across his career from you know Room Squares, Why Georgia, Gravity, um, which I think is on Continuum, and then Last Train Home, you know what his newest album on Sub Rock. So a bit of a mixture of his sort of style. I demonstrate the riff, I then break it down, show you how to play it. We've got a few backing tracks here that you can play along with as well. And then we've got obviously the workshop handout, which has got you know, all the tab and stuff in there. So all the music for you to follow along with. So that is a really cool workshop. It's a really fun one to go through. I'm a big John Mayer fan. So it was a good excuse to kind of revisit these songs, and have some fun with the riffs. So go and check out if you're a John Mayer fan, even if you're not, there's some really cool riffs there to play around with and have some fun with. So the next thing we need to talk about then is our podcast episodes. So the podcast episodes are released through June. So let's scroll down a little bit. And the first one on June the 3rd was the Open Weekend Live Q&A recording. Now, I think I mentioned this in last month's um, Academy show, to be fair. So I think it was actually released when I did the, the, the recording. Um, and this, is, well, the month before, uh, we did an open day and on, or an open weekend at BJ. So I opened up parts of the website so non-members could come and check out. And part of that, I did a live Q&A call. You can actually check out the live Q&A call if you go to the dashboard and you go to resources, I've put the recording there of the live Q&A. So you can check out there if you wanna watch you know, the live Q&A. But this is the audio recording of it. So obviously you can just listen to it when you're out and about, you'd have to watch me on video. And uh, so there it is, that was the first one. So quite interesting, we did some quite cool little uh, topics there that people had submitted to me. Um, so yeah, quite a cool thing to check out. The next one, should you learn guitar in person or online? So discussing the pros and cons of having in-person guitar lessons rather than online through maybe BJ or you know other websites like that. Even just learning through YouTube as well, I go through some pros and cons of that. Next one. Now this was a topic which was suggested by Bar actually, who said this, uh, one of our new BJ students. So how to avoid, recognize and overcome guitar burnout. So we're all gonna go through where you just feel a bit yeah, in the funk, you don't really wanna pick up a guitar, you just, you know, get a bit burnt out by it. So I'll give you some ideas there. One, how to avoid it in the first place, so you don't have to worry about it. One, how to recognize you're in it, rather than just thinking, oh, I don't wanna do guitar anymore, so I'm out. You know, there's probably a reason why, so that's a good way of recognizing it. And then how to overcome it, so you know you've got burnout, you've identified it, how then do you overcome it? So I work, walk you through those kind of different steps in that one. And then the newest podcast episode, John Mayer's five top guitar tips. This was a really fun one to do, and let's just go into this a little bit, because there's some cool little tips here. And these are all ideas that I just picked up from his YouTube videos, of things he've been talking about. He does quite a lot of Instagram, you know, little lives and stuff, so I, I got them from there, really. And the first one's learn building blocks of songs. So his idea was there, that rather than just learning his riffs, 
you learn where those riffs come from. So you learn the scale he's using, you learn kind of the ideas that he's kind of probably thinking about. So you can take that and develop it into your own kind of thing. Uh, this one about using a metronome, why it's important to use a metronome. Move solos generally up in pitch. So as you're improvising, you don't start up at 12th fret, 15th fret, you build up to that. So the problem is if you start very high, you can't go any higher because you're gonna be running out of necks. So you can build up your solo, especially if you're doing, you know, a blue solo as you're going around a 12 bar and you're looping around a few times, you wanna be able to move around and give variation. Then phrase guitar solos like a singer, that's a really cool one. So making your guitar solos more vocal-like, so it mimics what a singer would do. And last one, um, accentuate the chord changes. So as you're playing over chords, you're picking notes to solo over that have those sort of chords in it. So that's a really cool thing to do there. So check that out, guys. That's a really cool little thing there. Um, really cool episode, actually. I'm, again, big John Mayer fan. It was a bit John Mayer week that week because we did the five top tips and we did the workshop as well. So yeah, check that out, guys. Some really good, um, really good ones there. Right, let's move on. So coming soon is what's coming soon to BJ. So one thing that's coming soon was the podcast I recorded today, which will be released on the day I release this recording, June the 1st, I think it will be, um, which is, I've now forgotten. Oh, blues albums. So recommended for listening. I literally just recorded this before I did this video and I've already forgotten it. So I recommend six blues albums, classic blues albums, to go and listen to, to really hone in on that genre, to get more of an understanding of the feel, get more idea, deal with the sound, so that's going to start coming through when your blues playing. There's some classics there. B.B. King, Live at the Regal. Albert King, Born Under a Bad, um, bad Moon, Bad Sign. Some really cool um, songs. I was thinking then of Howling Wolf, because he's got Howling at the Moon album. So yeah, so some really cool albums go and check out. Start digesting them, start getting them in your ear, so that will come through in your guitar playing. But one of the big things we're going to do this month is I've got a challenge for you. At the end of the month, we are going to do a challenge. And this was voted for by the BJ community in the community. I put up a little poll there of what you'd like to do, what challenge you'd like. So we had a really good challenge at the beginning of the year, which was the practice challenge, which was a two-week practice kind of challenge. Um, haven't done one since, but that went so well, I thought it'd be really good to do another one. And the challenge we're going to do is speeding up chord changes. So how to speed up your chord changes. By the end of it, I'll give you loads of good ideas. How to get your chords moving faster. This is always something I hear from beginner guitar players. I've got some chords, but how do I make my chords move quicker? I can't get the speed. So I'm going to give you some awesome tips to help speed up your chord changing. I'll be giving more information about that in the next couple of weeks. So watch out for on social. I'll be uh, announcing it. Also, I'll be sending out emails to BJ members as well, so you won't miss out. Um, but that will be coming soon. And this could be for BJ members, this could be for non-members as well, just a challenge for basically everyone. It's going to be, you know, quite cool. Um, so yeah, watch out for that. So I'd say the big thing this month, obviously loads of cool podcast episodes. The Blues album is going to be really fun as well. That might even spill out to a three-parter. I've scheduled it for two, but it might be a three as well. We shall see. And obviously other little bits and pieces as well, like we normally do, some quick tips and some riffs, and got to do some new songs as well. I haven't done some of them for a little while, so that'll be coming as well. And I'm going to look in the community to get some ideas of songs. So again, let me know. There's a section in the community where you can put forward any suggestions that you have. Right, guys, so that is all the news from last month. So June, things there for you to check out. Get any questions, let me know. If you're a BJ member, let me know in the community underneath this video. Any questions, any questions, any problems, anything you want to chat about, just let me know. Otherwise, that's it for this month. And I'll see you um, in the community for BJ members. And I'll see you next month for another one of these videos. So take care, keep rocking, and um, I'll speak to you soon.